up, y'all? This is Dwayna, aka Glamazon 1026, and welcome to the Glam Room. Today, we are going to be doing a full face of Mented Cosmetics, the cosmetics company that is specifically created for black women and women of color because, you know, it is necessary. A lot of people be leaving us out. I meant to say, you know what? We're here to fill in the gap. So, if you want to see how I got this look, stay tuned. But before you go, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter because, you know, we're trying to get those numbers up. Be sure to subscribe to this channel because we got a lot of good content that we have done in the past and we got a lot of good content coming up in the future and if you are here from instagram and twitter i want to thank you for coming because that really means a lot to me anyway without further ado let's get going going to get right into this full face of Mented Cosmetics. I have already primed my face and put on my brows because I forgot to buy the Mented Eyebrow Pen. Um, so I just did that off camera and we're going to get into this look, okay? I'm gonna start with the Skin by Mented Foundation and this is in the shade T30. I'm just going to smear that all over my face. And then um, just buff that in with this foundation brush. Um, I really like this foundation. It's nice and lightweight and it gives you full coverage. Look at that. I didn't even color correct or anything. And look at it. Look at my skin. It looks really, really good. And it's not a matte finish. It's like a satiny finish. So it's not like too dry and it's not too dewy. It's like a perfect in the middle um, finish. <laughs> They don't have concealers yet, so if you're going to do a full face of Mental Cosmetics, you're going to have to use other foundations to do your like highlighting and contouring. So I was going to do that. I was going to just buy other foundation sticks, but I didn't know what shade to get. So I ended up getting the foundation sample pack, and it comes with all 16 of their foundations, and so I could just pick and choose what I need to do for my concealer and then for my contour. I'm gonna try an L30 for my um, highlight. So let's go into the contour, and for contour, I think I'm going to use Deep 20. So let's try to do that, Deep 20. Yeah, there you go. Deep 20. I probably didn't need to put that much on, but it'll be all right. So let's blend the contour out and then we will blend out the highlighter. So now I have the Mented um, Medium Deep Setting Powder. I'm going to use that to set my face. I'm going to go in with the Mented Bronzers, and this is in the shade Yacht Life. Oof, let me open it for you guys so you can see. And this is a really, really gorgeous uh, 
color. Oh, no, no, no. I think I'll be, I think I'll be fine with this. Yeah, I love this. And I feel like this has a little bit of like gold reflex in it or gold shimmer in it. So it's not like a complete matte bronzer, which I'm interested in. I like it. Keep it going. But that looks good. I think anyway. Just bronze up the nose area under the chin. I have the Peach for the Stars blush as well as the Play Too Much. I'm going to blend these two together. I'm going to use these for my blush today. Peach for the Stars is a very, um, is a peachy blush, but it has some shimmer in it. So it's going to give you a nice glow. Um, and Clay Too Much is just like a reddish brown blush, and it's just going to continue to bring that warmth. So I'm putting down Clay Too Much first, and I'm putting Peach for the Stars on top. So here is the side that has Peach for the Stars and Clay Too Much. I feel like it has dimension, it has a little bit of shimmer, it has a little bit of shine, as opposed to the flat side that only has the bronze or Yacht Life on it. So I'm just gonna continue to do that over here on this side and we'll get going. We are going to be using the Mented Cosmetics Every Night Eyeshadow Palette for the eyeshadow look and it comes with 10 beautifully pigmented shades. The top are shimmers and the bottom are mattes and you can get multiple looks out of this palette. All right, so we're just going to replicate this eye on this side so that you guys can see. Let me zoom in. All right, so we're going to start with Harlem and we're going to put that in our crease directly. So as you guys know, I like to pat down my shade first and then blend it with the tip of the brush. Just back and forth with show wipe promotions. All right, so now we're going to go in with Brooklyn, which is the black shade, and we're going to put that again directly in our crease. And we're gonna use this in our outer V. We just stamp that down there, and then a little bit into our crease. Just bring that over right into the crease. So if you're scared of using black shades, I suggest taking a clean brush to blend it out. That way there's no um, excess powder, excess shadow on the brush and you're not like just completely making your lid dark by dragging that back and forth. In the corner where you want it to be the darkest, you can just blend in like small circles and then where you want it to diffuse, you can use windshield wipe motions. So in order to make sure that the black line where you put the shadow down is diffused, you can go over with the brush that you used to put Harlem down with and just like run that along the line so that they're nicely blended in. All right, so I'm gonna use a little bit more of that L20 to cut the crease, just so that we have a clean place to put the shimmers down. If you have a hard time cutting your crease and you're using something as thick as this foundation, um, or as creamy as this foundation rather, you can like make the imprint of the arch out with your concealer brush and then just go back and fill it in. Now we're going to pick up that brush that we used to put down Brooklyn and we're going to deepen up the outer corner with Brooklyn. Just tap that in there. And then we're going to use the brush that we picked up Harlem with. And I'm actually going to mix Harlem and Atlanta here. Harlem and Atlanta. and I'm going to use that to blend in the back third of this eye. Pick up the flat shader and I'm going to put New Orleans in the middle of my eye, and then I'm going to finish it off with Miami in the front. And then flip the brush and then pick up Miami, put it down in the front.
and then just blend the two of those together so that it's nice and smooth. So there's no line of demarcation. You might have to go back in with a little bit of New Orleans just to make sure that that copper color comes through because what you want to see is a shift. Um, so we can go from uh, regular gold to copper gold um, as you turn, turn your eye. That's what you want. I want to bring Brooklyn underneath my lower lash line and then blend it out with a little bit of Atlanta. All right, so like I said, I forgot to buy a highlighter and they have a highlighting palette. So I'm gonna use a little bit of Miami. That's the shade that we use on the in, front, in the front. I'm gonna take up this little um, fan brush. I'm gonna use that as my highlighter. Yes, child. Yeah, that's a good highlighter, especially for this look. All right, I'm going to finish up my eye, put on liner and lashes, and then meet you back for the lips. We're going to go in with our lips. Now, Mented has lip liners, but I believe they match the lipsticks, and I already have the lipsticks, so I was like, it doesn't make sense to buy that again. So I'm going to be using the lipstick as a lipstick and a lip liner. Okay, okay. All right, so we're gonna use the Mented um, lipstick Dark Knight as a lip liner. And then we put Foxy Brown on the inside. Yeah, I like that, I like that a lot. All right, y'all, this is the finished look. I think we did a really good job. I'm pretty sure it's like down the pipeline. It's probably gonna come, but I do wish they had concealer so I wouldn't have had to use foundation for my base, my concealer, and my contour. But as of right now, look at it. It looks really good. And my face doesn't look caked up or anything. For a, I wanna say mid indie brand because they are getting more nor more notoriety and they're not as small as they used to be and they are like expanding into face products and setting sprays and bronzers and eyeshadows and all of that stuff. And they're not just lipsticks anymore. I think that they're doing an amazing job representing black women, women of color for the products that we need in order to complete a full face. Anyway, um, you can find all these products and more at the menta.com website. I really like this this eyeshadow palette because they have another one and it didn't necessarily call to me but this one really called to me when I got it and I think that it is a good neutral staple palette anyway guys that's all I have for you today so tell me in the comments which of these products like kind of caught your eye what are you going to be picking up or what are you going to be looking into let me know if you like this video I have a couple more full face of videos coming up um, be sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel click the notification bell so that you can be a part of the glam fam and know exactly when I upload also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at glamazon1026 and I'll see you guys in my next video bye